Hello, we are back with the APB Arcade Machine. This is the fourth video. This is going to be a cosmetic type video. First thing I'm going to do is repaint, rebuild and repaint this coin door. I'm going to remove this, kind of fill that in. The coin door is held in with these little brackets. You loosen this bolt and then these things slide back. And then the whole coin door comes out. Then I remove these bolts and the whole coin mechanism comes out. And the insert coin things. Hey, look, there's a quarter. <laughs> 1980. And with the flathead screwdriver, you can pop this front thing off and remove the little insert and I'm going to clean these up really good I removed the locks and also these coin shoot things now I'm really going to clean this stuff up I'm going to show you this is the before picture Now I'm going to fill in these holes. I'm going to take this little metal plate that I cut and glue it. I take some of this JB Weld. Fill in the holes. Let it settle. Okay, it's 24 hours later. This is what it looks like when it's dried. And I sanded it down. It's nice and smooth. So here is the after shot. After I sanded it and cleaned it, pretty much stripped all the paint off of it. Before I paint, I take some alcohol and soak a rag. This removes any oil, the last little bit of rust. I'm also gonna clean up the speaker grill and also the hardware. I use this stuff called Lime Away. I make a 50-50 mix with water. Took a piece of cardboard, punched a bunch of holes in it. This keeps the screw heads in the air for when I spray paint them. I use Rust-Oleum Flat Black. Now I'm going to sand and paint just this front part right here. Some of the laminate is peeling off. I've also got to fill these holes right here. Here's some more of that laminate. I use a foam sanding block. I use this Bondo wood filler to fill in these holes. And at the bottom of the cabinet, there's this little hole that a seat would mount into there. So I created this little thing out of wood. And this is to block this hole. It mounts right into the bracket. 
And this is to keep like insects and mice and stuff from getting in the cabinet. I do two layers of the Bondo, sand it down, and then I mask off the edges with this blue painter's tape and use this flat black paint. I really like this simple green and magic erasers for cleanup. It's amazing how much cleaner it is. It removes a lot of the yellowing. 33 years worth of grime buildup. Now I'm going to try to color match and fill in these deep gouges. I got these paints and brushes from Michael's craft store. I mix the paints to try to get it as close as I can to that light blue color. And I fill in some of these missing sticker parts. And I adjusted these pots on the back of the monitor. I mounted this mirror to a ladder. And when I'm behind the machine, I can look and see as I adjust. I use these plastic alignment tools. I mostly use the buttons on this side, but for testing purposes, I tried these buttons and I noticed this button right here didn't always register. So I removed the micro switch. These are cherry micro switches. You can remove this little plate and I take some 1500 grit sandpaper I cut this tiny little strip and you can see how the switch works, the little metal pads touch and that th can become dirty. I take the little strip of 1500 grit sandpaper, press the switch down and rub back and forth and I reassemble the switch. Since I had the panel off I ended up cleaning all the switches so everything works nice and perfect. Having nice clean fresh looking bolts and hardware really improves the look of the cabinet. And here it is, all finished. Here's one last look inside the cabinet. Yeah.